Oh, here you are. Last episode of Flappy Bird. How to make Flappy Bird? Well, yes, it's true. It didn't take 45 minutes, but you made a game in 45 minutes. In this last part, I will show you how to put it all together, how all the assets and textures you made in previous two free tutorials can make a quite a good game as you can see. So I have imported all the assets that we did in previous two to little tutorials inside here which means that I have here our bird and our textures right there. So first thing we need to do is uh, usually organize it so which means create folders like this and put all the stuff in that which means textures, models and so on and etc etc but I'm not going to do that. No, we don't have time. Let's go. <laughs> So let's apply these materials and I will start with tube. Uh, let's put it here and give me here all of these materials. So here on the left you can see which, ma which texture map it is. This one is normal, base color and this is uh, and the most complicated one, which means I forgot completely how it is called. Yes, but uh, roughness, metallic, and ambient co conclusion, occlusion. Wonderful. All right, so let's start with uh, connecting a uh, color map, which is this green one, or whatever color you have used. Normal map. And now, as I said, the complicated one. You simply have to take a red channel, which means all the less red color to ambient conclusion, green color to roughness and blue color to metallicness and apply it. Engine will try to apply it all, hopefully successfully. Great. And uh, next thing we need to do the same thing with uh, our bird like Okay, let's look at our assets. First start with bird. And that's it. Crazy as zebra bird with these kind of eyes. Okay, this works beautifully. And what about our tube? Perfection. Mario Light Tube. Now we need to get into blueprints or whatever folder you have saved it in. And let's go with floor because first thing we will change are these da, 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 these boxes. Uh, in the last tutorial, which means that for, uh, let's make Super Bird in 45 minutes, this was white and it should be white. In my case, it's red because I have a bit me was messing around with uh, basic setting of engine and I shouldn't have done that and all that funny stuff. Okay, that didn't make sense, but what I did here didn't make sense as well. Sense as well. So let's keep going. Well, first thing uh, I see here is that we have this box under a mesh, which would be quite troublesome for us. So I will put it away and now import here mesh and it's a static mesh. Here we go. And as that's what static mesh, let's set tube or whatever name you have choose. But I'm a bit of, oh no, 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 not, this, not that. I don't want to have it under anything. Make sure that it's just like that in hierarchy. Only, uh, only after a default scene root. Okay, and let's see where it is. Here it is. It's a bit too big and I see that we have set up origin badly in uh, Blender. Uh, ta -da -da. If you want, you can go back to Blender and fix it simply by clicking in Blender Control A and set origin to geometry. But right there, I'm not going to do that. I will simply adjust scale to about 0.3 and pretend like I have done everything as I should. You can do the same. That's basic video game development strategy. <laughs> Okay, now we'll simply click Ctrl C and Ctrl V to create that. Okay, that looks cool. So now we can delete this one. 
and let's see if it works. Click on play, or you can use shortcut Control P, and it seems like it works just beautifully. Uh, look at that terrible overlap. That's something you can fix just by adjusting it as you want. Maybe uh, if you want to make your game look much better, I would adjust scale or or something like I would adjust a scan or uh, spaces between those tubes but that's up to you you can do all that in blueprint okay the next thing we will do is to get some work on uh, our dear character which is new character okay let's go here and add the mesh but in this case we will add skeletal mesh and as that we will choose bird and let's look where it is down there. Origin is as again pretty much I wouldn't necessarily say done badly but it is. <laughs> okay let's scale it down again. When you go from one software to another to other there is always problem with 3D models or anything with scaling honestly. That's something you will encounter quite a lot. And it's even rotate. What is that? Oh, I see. We have deformed our dear bird for a bit. Okay. Jesus Christ. All right, all right. Let's get it one more time. To about one point three. And see where it is. And as I can see, it's too much. So let's go one point two. Still too much, so 1.15. That's probably still too big, but we can try to work with that. And you can delete this mesh. Let me just check if we haven't done anything with it, but I don't think we did. No, we didn't, luckily. So let's click on play, and we have our beautiful bird. But what the game developers we will be if we didn't have any animations there. So for that, we can add here. Anim we need to add here animation blueprint and set it to bird skeleton. And let's call it bird anim. And it's enough. B B bird animation blueprint. Great. From result, no, not that one. Click here, click right click, and write here a new state, state machine, and connect it. Okay, double click on it, and from here, take add state. That state will be called casual flying. Oh, Jesus, I can write it, so I will just write here fly. I'm pretty sure that's not how you spell it, so I will just write here F. Respect. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's add another one, and that will be called F underscore up. That's respect with two ups. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, with up we will add fly casual. And as it seems, we had a bit of a problem. It exported two animations as uh, completely same animations. Yeah, I see that. But we will improvise and fix it like that. Or you can go back to Blender and create your new animations and export it one more time. But that's not what we are going to do because we don't have time. So, firstly, let's get back to our blueprint of new character and set our skeletal mesh by using animation blueprint here in animation and set it to uh, I called it bird and BB. Oh what a beautiful flying creature. I still can't call it bird, I'm sorry mate. <laughs> Alright and over here we will do something funny. We will create two variables to no, that's function. We don't need function. 
we will create two variables for setting up our animations. Let's go right uh, here into variables and create two of them. Make sure that they are type boolean, which means they set up, they are telling the engine if something is true or is not true. Basically, basic binary code. Let's go here and let's name them. This one be is F, and the other one will be not F. Don't look at me like that. I am at linguistic school, but I'm dropping out, so chill. <laughs> okay, and for pressed, we will set F to true. And for not F, we will set it. To, uh, no, we, will, we don't set it. We don't want to do this and set it to untrue. And let's see what it will do. Okay, now we can create these arrows which will tell you which will tell the bird when we want to go from this animation to this animation which is exactly what we are going for right now and we want one arrow for uh, to going there and one for going back so firstly we will go there and that simply with a variable that will be called bird underscore f and this one will be Bird underscore not F. Beautiful. <laughs> Let's make sure that both are from the start set to not true. Simply by clicking them here and making sure the default value is not checked. Okay, and now let's go to event graph. Let's go here and cast to new character. And can we? Do it just like that. I am not really sure that we can, but seems like we could. Okay, and as new character, we will get. Uh, haha, how we, how did we call it? B. No, that's why you should name your. Oh, F, <laughs> of course. And that's why you should name your variable properly. So get F. Come on, I want to get some respect. Get respect. Okay, get F, and at the same time I wanna set B, set uh, Bart F. What this will do will simply every tick of the game cast to new character and ask, hey, is F set to true? And if you press D and F will be set to true, it will set B F to true, and that will cause going from this animation to this animation. Simple as that. Okay, and after that, do the same thing with give me F. No, not F, I believe. With and set B not F. Let's see if it will work. Okay. Let's try press. And as you can see, it's casually flying. And it seems like it works, but it's not going back for some reason. It's still exploding, but not going back. Why is that? <laughs> oh, of course. Because... Da -da -da. Yes. Because F is still set to... We actually don't need to create two variables. Let me just check quickly something out. Okay, here I am back and everything works for now. So, as you can see, we have done, I have done uh, quite a mistake because uh, to make this for, uh, um, to make these variables work properly, we need to set it like this, which means every time you press T, it will launch the character and set F to true and not F to true, but if you release the button, which means not pressing T anymore, it will set F to untrue and not F to true, because otherwise it wouldn't quite work. Like this. Okay, so now when you play it, 
you can see that when you when I press T, our animation is going to new animation state, which is nothing because we haven't set up anything. But you can see that it works. And every time I release it, it works again. Beautiful. So now I will show you what improvisation I was talking about. Uh, and what did I use here? Let me quickly see. It was flying casually. So here I will go to flying app. Up, up, app. Jesus Christ, what am I, middle schooler? And set the player, set play rate to. Let's go with six. We are going crazy tonight. Woo! Which means the play rate set to six means that uh, the animation we created will be played six times as fast as it uh, usually. So now if I click on T, you can see that it's flying like a crazy bird. Wonderful. I pretty much believe that we have done everything we could. Okay, that was everything from me. I hope that uh, you learned something, that you know how to make your own flappy bird and make millions out of it. At least I want some percentage, okay? Anyway, uh, I have just started Discord server. So if you feel like it and want to talk about it or show me what you made, Hop in a hop at it. That sounded weird. Doesn't matter. Anyway, in description we have a link for that and all the other social medias and stuff. So see ya.